and Sue Fitch from Fitch Farm in Cornish, New Hampshire. It's an amazing place right above St. Gaudens National Site. And uh, you know this, this whole wonderful set designed by Jim Morgan here at the York uh, for Desperate Measures, this wonderful hit show, all kind of the, the, the set that you're seeing really came from this place. And uh, it started with I Work at Opera North, which is up in, in New Hampshire. And uh, we have this great connection that we're building these bridges. And, and so all of a sudden, we were looking at uh, ways of, of working together. And here comes this wonderful man who I've actually been a big fan of Opera North. As I, well, you've been to our performance. Yeah, we've been to a lot of them, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, and so here we have this real wood. And Jim, tell us a little bit about your farm and, and Sue as well. Fitch Farm. What is Fitch Farm? We've been, uh, I'm the eighth generation. My grandson is the tenth generation. We've been there since our uh, first deed is 1771. Oh, my God. So we uh, didn't say much of my family moving around. It would be very creative, but it's Stand interesting. Been in the family all that time. Yeah. And have you been in the same area all this time, up in, in the Cornish area? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been there, yep. Yeah. The wood that you're seeing is actually was just, some of it was actually just milled uh, right before uh, we, we came into being here at, the, here at the York Theater, right? It was a combination of freshly milled wood and also from... Just some piles of wood that were left over from other projects. Have you ever provided uh, lumber for a, a theater set before? Uh, maybe at Opera I was North. At Opera North. So this yeah, is, so Opera North. Some of this is, is Madame Butterfly, as a matter of fact. Okay. I, you know, I think that's as a matter of fact. Good. Good to well, reuse. Well, we what we loved was when Evans suggested the idea. When I did the design for the show. And it's essentially a big barn. It was how to pull it off, and yeah, we could have faked it with beautifully milled plywood or something, plywood or something and <laughs> spent a lot of time trying to make it look rough. But then to get this actual stuff, much of it newly milled, but all of it has that barn board feel. And uh, all we did was tone some of it down just, just so people could be seen clearly against it. It was so wonderful. We didn't have to do anything to make Good. it... to rough it up or <clears throat> make it irregular. It's so beautiful. And people would come in and just... That's just it. People have really responded. I mean, from the wow. well, first of all, the day that it was brought in, uh, the, the, the smell of it coming in. Because oh, yeah. The truck arrived, and there was just so much... It kept coming. <laughs> and and, and, the, and it just the aroma of it just filled the whole theater. And people really have responded. It's like, <clears throat> you know, on some level, they realize there's a difference between, as you said, a something that looks like a... a made up to look like and then the authentic wood that you all have have brought authentic. Good. and the in-between step was the opera north scene shop wherever that is where is that in relation to your farm windsor, in windsor vermont right yeah, across the river is, um, well, they put some of it together there right. yeah some of these panels uh, okay. sort of wall pieces were pre-put together by them and framed so all we had to do was just put them in place but then a lot of it was just loose lumber so we could fill in kevin maloof is exactly, our production, production manager. manager and he made a lot of this happen, uh, along with Michael Harbeck, who's my assistant and scenic assistant. And uh, uh, they were very artful in creating beams and, and stuff that, that really couldn't be figured out ahead of time. Let's realize, you're sitting in the middle of New York City. This is not things that we normally think about. So, but there is a reality of, of when, we, when we see the finished product. How, do, how does that happen? I start looking for a tree that needs to come down. <laughs> Sometimes they, they come down. To saw the tree down, mm -hmm. limb it, and usually drag it out of the woods to the sawmill, and then um, then the sawmill squares it up and then makes boards. Just and the sawmill is, of course, all electric. Ah, uh, no, it's a diesel. Oh, it's diesel. diesel. It's just oh, a wow. small one. It goes it's by portable. in the pickup truck. It's portable. Oh, and so this is on your property. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. But because it's portable, he can take it to other jobs. I also travel to other people's houses. And oh, really? So you can go. So another. So is there? Bring it down here. <laughs> sure. We'll go, to, we'll go to Central <laughs> Park and yeah, yeah. Park yeah. there. And, uh, that'll go over yeah. really, really City, well. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell anybody to come. <laughs> so is this all essentially the same kind of wood, or is it very mostly pine and maybe some hemlock with it? Well, you're here down in New York at the York Theater, where you, where, yeah. where you see the, the products of all your labor on our, on our stage at <laughs> yeah, Desperate Measures. So, <laughs> but, I mean, that, that truly good. is a wonderful thing. And, and truly, I mean, I know, Jim and I hope you will come back many times for everything that we do down yeah. here at the York. And we'll it, try and do more shows that use... Use yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah, We, we know the source it. now. Yeah. Thank you for... Thank you for, for Making all this, this happen. This all happen. It's because fun to it, see yeah. it down here. It yeah. truly is a whole different yeah. character. It is, it is another character in the play, I think. I've saw a lot of buildings and churches and, 
you know, barns and houses and sheds and, but not a lot. Not of, a set. Not, not a, a set. set. Your stuffing is as a set. Well, I know you're going to have a wonderful time tonight. So yeah. Thank, thank you guys. So thank you for inviting us down here. <laughs> but oh, thank you. Thank you guys so thank much. Thank you all. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Great to meet you.